You gotta be a good person to go to heaven. So, we're just saying, we can't go to heaven because you're not good. And I'm not a person. Ooh, the new movie, The Creator, explores a world where there's a war between humans and robots with artificial intelligence. Everybody's talking about this. Mm. Now they've made a movie about it. Is it any good? <laughs> We're bringing in movie critic Ray Drake for her review of the new movie. Welcome back to the show. Hey. Okay. okay, so get ready, take a deep breath, because this is basically kind of straight from the headlines, but an original sci-fi story where we've got John David Washington trying to figure out how he can get the robots in this world mm. to calm down oh, and, so, and basically save everyone's <laughs> life. No pressure, right? I, this, like, I don't really want to go see this yeah. just because I'm scared that this is what could actually happen. Oh, exactly. Become so reality. I, yes. I think we're really at a tipping point, but that kind of energy and fear almost feeds into this original oh. movie, and the talent is great. So along the way, he meets a small girl. Mm -hmm. He's unsure her place in this whole picture, so he's just running from everybody until he can figure it out. Mm -hmm. So I would say buy a ticket because this is the first time in a long time I didn't know where the movie was going because it wasn't based on something else. Got it. Oh, okay. So so, original. Yes, yes, effects are great, acting is great, 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 great. Okay. All right, all, all right. right. Take Next. your word for it. <laughs> Deliver us. Uh-huh. This is back to the nun too, and everyone's scared of religious imagery. Oh. A nunnery in Russia, a convent, has a nun in there who says that she's immaculately conceived oh. twins. One is good and one is the Antichrist. Oh, of course. Right. So this one is <laughs> moody. It's not really scary, but uh, you know, if the nun too wasn't enough for you, check this one out. Okay. Th this is one, this is an option. Yeah. <laughs> into that stuff. It mm. is, amen. All yes. right. <laughs> and last, Flora and Son. Okay. I don't know anything about this. Okay, so this is by a filmmaker named John Carney. I love his films like Sing Street and Once. Okay. And this movie is about a single mom and her <laughs> I'm son, still Max. still not understanding, but that's okay. <laughs> it's, it's all right. I'm going to catch you up. Okay, okay, okay. Flora is a single mom, and her son, Max, is having some behavioral issues. Okay. She's trying to figure out how to relate to him. She thinks that it's through teaching him the guitar that uh, out of one that she found in the garage garbage, mm -hmm. okay. but it ends up kind of meet, she meets him on a different level, but it always has to do with music. Mm -hmm. Okay, so John Carney's movies are always about the power of music, how they bring oh, us together. Okay. Okay. And this is such a sweet movie, just like all his movies are very sweet. Yes. This one has a bit of an edge, uh, language wise, oh. but I was totally well, on board. Who cares about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be swearing the second I'm not live anymore. They okay? don't take the younger kids. Maybe. Yeah, exactly, right, okay. uh, but there's so much heart in this as usual. I love his films and definitely give this one a shot. Is oh. the actress I saw there, is she from Bad Sisters? Is that who that is? I believe she yeah, is on Apple great. TV Plus. Yeah. And I'm such a fan. I have to watch the series now. I can't think of her name, but she's fantastic. Kate Houston, I believe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Awesome. Great. So, yeah, A plus as usual. Okay, great. Thank you.